working in your life. Yes. So, we are living in a weird time. Um, in the beginning, remember, we weren't even leaving our homes. It was like weird to do that. So, um, for the first time in my life, I suddenly had all this free time, which is like nothing a New Yorker ever has. And during that time, I found out some things about myself, things I had kept hidden, things I had tried to pray away. They were suddenly staring at me right in the face. And this testimony is about what happened next. I thought I needed to leave my faith to find happiness and freedom. I've been a Christian for about six years, and being a follower of Jesus suddenly felt really restrictive in my new reality. So I thought of the prodigal son. Best in case scenario, it's just a story, and the promises of the world aren't all that bad, and I'll probably even have some fun. Worst case scenario, it's the truth, but I come back and there is a party. <laughs> it was my Jewish therapist who was like, aren't you skipping over some of that? Did you miss something? <laughs> yeah, I totally skipped over the part where he's in such bad shape that he's literally starving for pig slop. But my mind was made up. So I'm a visual person and I had imagined myself on a front porch with my bags all packed up, ready to go. And I said goodbye to everyone and then I'm like, okay, one last big dramatic look at the house before I walk away into freedom and fun. And as I looked, it sort of hit me. Oh wait, I live here. This is my father's house. I, as his daughter, have a right to be here. And I get to say that because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. I will not be led away, and I will not just walk out without a fight. I called people in our church, people in my community group, and I began to tell them what was going on. I asked for prayer, I asked for help, and I feel so blessed that every person I told my story to was kind and full of grace and gave me help and prayer. I'm still working through all of it, and I need to work through some more of it before I can talk about it. I just want to say that nothing can disqualify you or me from following Jesus. His death on the cross grants me freedom and forgiveness in the eyes of God forever. And the angels rejoice when a sinner returns to God. That means I got a party and I didn't even really need to leave. <laughs> Super exciting. I will leave you with the lyrics from the classic 1873 hymn, Blessed Assurance, which pretty much sums up how I feel these days. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I am my Savior, am happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. Thank you.